you hear me? Okay, we're starting the uh, charging stick to the max, the two-person set, same as the um, Pachui set and the Taiji. You do it as a set routine uh, in the beginning, and then, of course, once this becomes like it should become like a subconscious thing between two partners. So it's a really good idea to train with with your, the same partner for most of the time, but it's also a good idea to train with different people, of course. But it should get it going so that it's just... and you can get it going really, really fast without anyone getting hurt because it, it's the movements are such, the movements are made such that it can really go into your subconscious mind really easily. And so it's surprising how quick you can get this going without even thinking about it. Once you get it to that stage, of course, you start going back slowly again and then you start putting in the moves out of place. So rather than doing this, I might go boom like that, for instance, and you react with the appropriate move because they've all gone subconscious. And so if there's a poke coming, you react with that instead of, instead of trying to get underneath and do something, some other movement because you've been doing it all the time at a subconscious level in the two-person set set. So we start off holding the stick at even thirds and you face each other. The first movement is I turn my left foot out and simply come forward. Not much move with the, the like this and see how that right hand slides a little bit on the stick and see how it's a, not straight down on the head, it's a slightly at an angle like this. So you can get a fairly quick move there, you can get it goes out of your hands if you hit it too hard. So you're supposed to actually hit someone on the head with this. So bang, just throw it down on the head, bang. See how the hand opens a little bit? Well, I'm, I have to grab it, of course, because I'm, I'm, I'm stopping it here. I'm stopping it myself. So normally what we're doing is with two partners face each other. And Wall's simply going to take a step back with his left foot as I take a step forward with my right foot. So I turn my left toes out and he's just going to step back and block it up like this and a little bit out to his left like this, just a little bit. He's stepping back with his left foot. So he's bumped it away, that's what he should do, he should just bump it away. I'm forward and Wall's gone back. Now what Wall does is he simply comes forward and hits me on the head with this. Bang, no, no, just, just lean forward, just come forward and bang, that's what he's going to do. So take it back to here. As he does that, of course, I sit back and I block it up, which is slightly out to the left. So let's just get those first two movements, because there are four of these anyway. Let's turn my foot out, come forward, he steps back. Bang, pop. And I've sat back. Now just for the sake of keeping with range of the camera, we will move, but we should just go straight back with the four steps. So what I'm going to do now is I take a step forward, I turn my right foot out, come forward, take a step, while takes a step back again, because he's the defender at the moment, and does exactly the same thing, but up this way slightly. And he's sitting back, yeah, sit back, sit back on, bang. Now he, come, he leans forward and ha, he comes forward under my head and I sit back. That's my second step. Here's my third step. Again, same thing. Bang, bang. And the fourth step, this is where things start to change. We, we only do my strike and Wall's defense. Step back. Oh, you've got to step back, yeah. Bang. And sit back. Bang. So that's the first set of movements. The next, Wall's next movement, he becomes the attacker and we do the reverse of that. So let's just get the first few bits, we might do it on an angle so we can keep in line with the, with the camera here. Okay, so he steps back with his left foot and blocks out. Comes forward, bang. I turn my left, right foot out, come forward with a strike again. Bang, bang, and sit back. He comes back again, three, four. Bang, and now, now just, yeah, and Wall just stays there. Just sit back, yeah. He just stays. So he's getting out of range of the stick by sitting backwards as well as blocking just in case. Okay, let's just do that again, Well, And you notice how the waist turns to get the... Just hold your stick up, Well, Just uh, out a little bit like that. That's it. So from here, you don't have to bring it like that to get the power. You get the power from the flicking of the waist and the wrist. So we get... It's a tremendous lot of power there. It'll kill anyone at the side of the head, of course. And you know, see how... The, but it's, it's like... Wow, that punch as opposed to that punch. That punch is boom to get the power, swinging power. Bah, snap power is what? 
See how the wrist flicks? And it, see how it moves slightly? That's what you're doing. You flick your waist. You get tremendous power. You've got to, you've got to have a hard stick <laughs> to get power to take these sort of thwacks. I can remember doing this with one of my students in Sydney years ago. And we're, we're doing a demonstration. And we do this very well, well all the way through. And it came to a point there and he was just had a broomstick. And I, No, I had the broomstick and he had my, this stick in fact. And he came down with one of these strikes to my head and it just went straight through, it broke it. And luckily at that time he had the control and he just pulled his stick there while I'm left with two bits, <laughs> two bits of the stick like that. And I said, whoa, that was lucky. Okay, so we'll do it again. We stand about two steps away from each other. I start. <laughs> yeah. Oh. You've got to, you know, hit with that sort of power. Just learn 